Hi, I'm Mercy Dale and welcome to my channel and welcome to Mental Health Thursdays. This week, I'm going to be talking about pushing yourself to the limit. And if you want to know more about that, then keep on watching. All of my Mental Health Thursday videos are based off of posts that are from my blog and I always try to link my blog down below including the post so you can head straight to that if you want to read more about the topic that I am talking about. I want to keep this short and simple uh, and you can read more in my blog but I just want to keep this short and simple because pushing yourself to the limit, <laughs> I'm doing that today. What does actually pushing yourself to the limit mean? It means pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. It means doing things even though you don't want to do them. It means doing things even though you're not comfortable doing them. And I'm not saying doing things that are really makes you cringy, uncomfortable. I'm talking about things where you do public speaking even though it's out outside of your comfort zone. You go up in front of that class or you stand up at work and you say something. And it's you stepping out of your comfort zone because you're not necessarily comfortable with public speaking but you're doing it because it's needed from you and it's something that you know you need to do so you do it anyway now when you are pushing yourself and you keep pushing yourself and pushing yourself you will get tired the thing is that our comfort zone changes every single day i feel like that light bulb kind of went off for me today i didn't even think about it because we have our natural comfort zone right but then we wake up every day and our comfort zones are slightly different every single day and i know that sounds weird for some people but our comfort zone level with what we're comfortable with doing changes every day depending on our mood depending on our energy level depending on a lot of things that are happening around us and how we want to participate with the rest of the world and so maybe one day I well maybe every day I am very comfortable with speaking up in front of other people but then I wake up one day and I'm not comfortable with it just because maybe I've been going on for so long that I just need a break or maybe I'm just feeling a little off that day maybe I'm feeling a little bit sick and that makes doing public speaking an uncomfortable thing for me to do even though it's something that is normally inside my comfort zone that very day that is outside my comfort zone and so every day we have to kind of like adapt and work with the comfort zone that we have and then try to push beyond that kind of expand little by little our comfort zone and doing small accomplishments in order to get better and bigger <laughs> comfort zone and to kind of make us better people as well and i'm talking about really small steps here like making your bed making yourself like a delicious meal um maybe hanging out with friends for once even though you think you have to work just because you need it sometimes you need that you need that rest that even though you are very comfortable with working all the time you sometimes need to think about resting as well because you can't be all work 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 and always pushing yourself and i think you should push yourself a lot but you also need the break you need the balance so for me sitting here today doing this video i'm exhausted physically i am exhausted this week but i felt like that was actually the perfect time to film this i feel like sometimes the videos end up being the perfect thing to cover that week uh, just because i'm feeling that way again and so i am physically exhausted i don't know even how i managed to sit here right now i am exhausted today and i do need a break and i will take it later but so my comfort zone and what i'm capable today is slower i'm capable of doing everything that i normally do but i have to do it at a slower pace which means today i can't do everything i want to to do i wanted to do more today really i did and i know so many other people uh, feel the exact same way but some days it's just not our day even though we plan to do a lot of things, we want to do a lot of things, it's just not our day. And it's our bodies telling us that it's time to slow down, that it's time to, it's okay to take a break. Now, I'm not saying that you should take a break for a long time, usually half a day, a day, two days, something like that, depending on how exhausted you are, is perfectly fine. Now, 
because if you take a longer break you get used to the break and you end up going into a slump routine and that's when you start deteriorating yourself and your comfort zone and everything you have worked for and I'm not saying that if you are in that place you can never get out of it uh, it just takes more effort and more time to get out of it because once you are falling <laughs> it's hard to stop falling <laughs> I know that very well. Try to catch yourself before it gets too bad. And you don't have to start working on yourself and start improving and start pushing yourself to do better, to be better on a Monday. It doesn't have to be the first of the year. It doesn't have to be the first of the month. It doesn't have to be the first of the week. It can be whenever you want it to. And if you are kind of like me where I feel like everything needs to be at a specific time, everything needs to have a system and uh, everything needs to have a pattern to it. I love patterns. Yes, I prefer to start on a Monday and all of that. But when you have been doing something consistently for a long period of time, you're going to forget the time you started. You're not going to remember, oh, I started this on a Wednesday afternoon. You're not going to remember that. So start. Yes, maybe you will remember it for the first month, maybe for the second month, but over time you are not going to remember that. So push yourself, but don't forget to rest in between the pushes. But make sure that the rest is not too much rest so that you are basically going backwards. Make sure there is a balance so that your body doesn't need as much rest as I think it does sometimes because we have a day of rest and then we're like oh this this was so nice and then we want to have rest for another day but then that next day having that rest would maybe take you back a little bit because it's going to make your body and your mind so relaxed that making it start up again is like starting an engine in winter time it may take a few times before it sticks you know especially if it's an old car <laughs> I don't know if anybody has experienced that starting an old car in winter. <laughs> that would be you uh, if you have too much rest. But you will also be the kind of car that breaks down from, I don't know, an old car driving too much. Uh, that would be you if you push yourself too much. So find that perfect balance and work with that. That is all I have for you today. And if you liked the video, then leave a like down below. And if you have any questions or anything like that, then leave a comment down below. And if you want more content like this, then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be notified when I upload a video. Now, my mental health Thursday videos are up every Thursday at seven o'clock Norwegian time, which makes it two o'clock New York time. And with that, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.